As we look ahead to local fall adventures, keep the city of Hastings and the surrounding area on your radar. Liz Ann Duner is joining us from Sherpa. She's actually up at her family's lake home in Spicer, which sounds wonderful, hopefully a segment for a future day. But today we're focusing on the Hastings area. You've devised a great full itinerary and you're gonna start us off with some berry and apple picking. Yes, so my first stop um, coming into town is actually right outside town, the Afton Apple Orchard. Um, looking into fall, they have a beautiful production there. Apples, pumpkin patches, it's perfect for everyone. They do lots of seasonal food varieties too, so apple, pumpkin flavored, everything. Bring your girlfriends, bring a date, bring your family. It's, it's family fun for everyone. Perfect fall activity. You also have a beautiful park you recommend. Yes, yeah, so right into town, actually, I had no idea was there, is the Vermilion Falls Park. Um, so it's right along the main drag. You park, and actually the falls is right, right just steps from the parking lot. So if you want to explore more, there's bike paths, hike paths, and there's even a fun lock bridge um, a little ways down the way. So if you remember, bring a lock, put it on the bridge, and enjoy. Sounds good. You also have a place to eat you recommend right in that area. Yeah, so if you head down to the historic downtown of Hastings, um, there's a beautiful spot right along the river. It's called Lock and Dam Eatery. So you get beautiful views of the bridge and the river, and it connects right to the river walk, as well as it's close to boutiques, shopping, um, a couple more bars and restaurants, and also the Hastings mural right across. So it's a great spot. The food is great, and the staff is wonderful. You mentioned shopping, and you actually have a specialty meat shop you recommend people stop at. Yeah, it's actually one of my favorites. Um, usually when we pass through Hastings, we always stop on our way out. Um, so bring a cooler if you can. It's a family-owned meat shop. Um, it's been around Hastings since 1983, and actually they opened the shop, the second one, in 2006. They made house-made sausages, um, really kind of fun brats as well, and their meat selection is wonderful. So we always make sure to stock up and have lots of options to grow when we get home. And two other businesses you wanted to highlight, a landscape center as well as a new coffee and wine shop. Yeah, so whether you're coming in or out of town, there's a new coffee shop called Froth and Cork. It was actually an old uh, hair salon. It's a beautiful historic building. So in the morning, you get your coffee, some light bites, and then in the afternoon, they serve wine and beer. It's actually a large space, so they have outdoors, uh, outdoor seating, upstairs seating, and downstairs seating. And they actually opened right before COVID, but, and so I had to close her a little bit, but they're open now, so go ahead and support local. And then on your way out of town, if you see uh, there's a landscape center, it's a beautiful garden center in the summer, but in the fall, it actually turns into a haunting experience. So if you're into that and you're leaving at night, check it out on your way home. I think you've covered something for just about everyone, Liz Ann. Thanks so much for your time today. We appreciate all your recommendations. Thank you so much for having me. And find more local things to do on our website under our things to do page. We'll be right back.